Hello and welcome to Suncorp Stadium. The Brisbane Roar trying to rise up the A-League ladder. Ninth currently. They know that a win can take them on the precipice of the top six, but they have to face an informed team in the Wellington Phoenix who are looking to set a new club record today by making it 10 games unbeaten. Slippery slope, mate. Slippery slope. It's the voice of Adam Kersey you can hear in action last night as the man in the middle. A couple of controversial calls. Now the fourth official trying to keep Ufuk Tale under control. Here's Makawa drifting inside and look at all that space for Kakachi who's bombing on left side. It's open up for Makawitz. And again, Young had an anxious look and he's left post. Okay. Run makes the pass speed in. That's what they've got. Willing runners into the right areas at the right time. And Makawitz covering the turf beautifully here. Another perfect pass in behind. Soterio! the crossbar. What a sensational strike that was. Brisbane's best moment in the game so far and the header is only just wide from Jacob Pepper who was climbing all over the top of his man Tim Payne nearly got the better of him. Fastest Wellington player to 10 goals for the club. Jeremy Brock he did it in 12 games. Now Villa looking to do it in 14. Here's Taylor back post left all alone. Chance here surely they ask for handball. Not sure they're going to get it. Not from the referee at least. VAR will have to adjudicate if they're going to get one here. Soterio with the shot eventually. Variation in the corner to the back post. Taylor does well to keep it in. Well there was a hint of handball even there. The back one back across. That is definitely a handball. That was on target. But I think the hands are in a natural position, and uh, that's the way Alex King uh, saw it. And he's talking with the VAR, saying, "Well, if it didn't hit his hands, would it hit his body? Wouldn't have hit the back of the net." So I thought he was side on, but maybe it was too quick for my old eyes to uh, to judge. We'll have another look later as it's dealt with at the near post by Hingert. What a touch! Davila kept his opposite number at bay. Wellington denied by the woodwork twice and now it's a handball against De Vere who says hang on a minute my hands are in the same spot but welcome to modern day football. Akbari is going to make way after a terrific performance so far. I think he's a little upset to be withdrawn. Couldn't have done much more but uh, they want a more attacking player in Dylan Wentzel Halls and the Den are celebrating. They can't see enough of this guy in the action the number 23. The ball into the penalty area from him. They get away with that. A couple of Wellington players going for the same ball. Hingert pokes it back in there. Inventive header. Dylan Wenzel holds Justin and scoring. An inspired substitution from Robbie Fowler. And Dylan Wenzel holds shows what he can do if given game time. He's a goal scorer. Brisbane have reorganised. That was a handy header from Steinman. Not sure, he, not sure he made it. But uh, Ufuk Tala, you saw, asking the fourth official, how long can Jamie Young hold onto the ball for? And it wasn't that long ago that uh, that was actually penalised in the A League. Now the strike is tipped over by Jamie Young. He is inspired, the former goalkeeper of the year. Davila. Marinovic copped a little shove. Brisbane have done it. Second best in the first half. But the substitutions of Robbie Fowler in the second half turned things around. McDonald made an impact and Dylan Wenzel Halls made the biggest impact of all.